Howdy, howdy, everyone. What's up? And welcome to Wizard One One Guides. Uh, so actually, the weirdest thing just happened to me. I was I was about to you know start questing and doing my thing, you know, right? And I come on here and I'm like, wait a minute, where'd the quest go? So correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I don't see the quest. So I was like, what, what, what do you mean? There's no quest on here. It's been a week since I played, right? Um, I, I'm obviously in Zafaria, and uh, I doubt it would be this because that's for uh, Winter Tusk, right? And, uh, you know, this is obviously a Marleybone thing, and then we have like a Triton Avenue thing, a Chamber of Fire thing, and this little thing from uh, Celestia, and then we have this, you know, the specialty quest, but that's not anything related to Zafaria. So, it's completely gone. But luckily for me, I happen to be a YouTuber, and I record uh, basically everything that I do. So, here is um, where we left off, I guess. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, uh, apparently, I was somewhere around here, and if you look down here, it says, Go to Mysterious Cave in Austerland. So, where was the last thing that we really did? I, I don't know. So, I need to backtrack a little bit to see what the last quest was. So, okay, so I was right here. I clicked done to that guy and I, somehow it didn't pick up a quest from him for me, I would buy that account from you once you got it so it's like that little weird guy right there I think that's I think that's where I need to be so um, I was getting a little nervous right and uh, so I brought up my second character and I was gonna quest on him so uh, this is just another character I don't know if I've introduced him before he actually the last time I played on him was when Blake was in Krakatopia so this is actually a really funny little throwback the last time I used him he was in Krakatopia over here and so um, but the funny thing is you know he's a, a level 62 balance so this is like perfect he's actually you know behind Blake now which is pretty funny but I figured maybe I could use this guy um, to help out Blake, I guess Blake would be helping him at this point. Uh, maybe get them on the same quest and then bring them both all the way up to Exalted or whatever. So this would be like the little deck I'd use to help him out here. Um, and you know, I figured the problem here is that he, luckily he's in Zafaria, right? And he's just a little bit behind Blake and I don't really want to record a lot of stuff again and go through all that crap. So um, maybe I'll do this on the side or maybe we'll just do it again because you guys don't even watch the videos for the walkthrough. You just really watch it for like me talking but um yeah so he's just um back in Zavan uh, savannah so he's just like maybe a couple hours of gameplay behind blake um he's three levels behind but that's no problem because we can easily get caught back up and uh i think i think it'll it'll be okay so oh jesus come on blake what are you doing anyways what i'm gonna do is um try and go back to that guy that I talked to in the last video and I I don't think I've ever been so thankful because usually if you lose a quest like this you can't really remember where you left off so maybe you'll have to in email uh, like Kings Isle or something like that email the wizard 101 support but luckily I don't think I've ever been this thankful for me being a youtuber <laughs> because I can actually see where I left off and that's uh, that's actually a really cool save so let's give this video a thumbs up for doing something as cool as that I'm coming up with a plan to uh, find out what my quest was and if it's not that lion guy well then I guess the only solution would be playing on my second character, following him along, and see where the quests take him. And that would for sure do it. I'll see what this guy has to say, though. Jungle, my friend saw, but now, so you know it's a, a main quest if you can press decline. Can you or you know it's a side quest if you can press decline. So, um, yeah, so these are not it. Seek out Princess Mandisa but I, I, you know, Samunda. she knows something about the Star School. Yeah, it's just weird that it disappeared like that, so... No, we'll go find out what's up. Okay, so we're back here in Stone Town after traveling for a little bit. Um, I guess I'm gonna go s go ahead and see if I can go pick up that quest again. Otherwise, it's a little bit worrisome because we'll have to go redo some stuff on my other character. But I'm so thankful that I have that other character. And believe it or not, that character was actually the first one I ever got a crown glitch to work on. So that's uh, kind of cool. And I was actually gonna give away that account, um, but I just never got around to it, unfortunately. Ah, here it is. This has to be it. Because you couldn't press decline, there was no decline there. So uh, uh, apparently we're hopping in his boat. Um, okay, that yeah, I got lucky right there. Sometimes you, I, I, you just don't pick it up. That's just the way it is. It's really weird. <laughs> that was close, eh? Remember, if you ever want to go between, you're looking for the lock. It's possible that you could easily press done and accidentally walk away, so it doesn't automatically bring you to the next set of dialogue. Uh, that's that's the way it could work. Um, but I don't know. Maybe you guys. Maybe it does seem smarter that I um, 
Jesus, why is there some kid adding me? Maybe it does seem smarter that I help quest my other character, Blaze, uh, by making him the same thing as Blake. It would only make sense since they're only a couple hours apart, and, uh, you know, in the end, I'm questing two characters at the same time. I actually just bought a membership for him again for the first time, in, I don't know, since I started Blake. And, uh, yeah, so... If I work on them both together, they level up together, and uh, hopefully they'll be on the same level, right? But, um, yeah, with that being said, I could go ahead and have maybe two level 110s, a balance, and an ice in just one hit. So I'm basically killing two birds with one stone. And uh, the funny thing about that is I'm in Stone Town. <laughs> okay, Seth, so you messaged me, dude. Sorry, I was really sidetracked there. Um, so, yeah, uh, what I need to do, actually, is... Okay, so maybe I should mark this location, stand, go back to the little Hishkamini thing, and then I'll go ahead and uh, turn on my port. Why that was off, I don't know. And then we'll go ahead and see. So, somewhere over here, Blaze has his quest. So it might get a little bit confusing, Blake and Blaze. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get into it. I actually do have a couple cool things to talk about. A little, oh my god, I really, why would I voice crack right now? Come on, cut. Okay, so here they both are together. Um, Blaze right here. And that's weird. That's what it looks like to see Blake Battleheart from like a third-person perspective. That's actually pretty cool. Look at that. I'm looking at a famous Wizard101 YouTuber. What's up, Blake? <laughs> Dang, he actually does look really sick, though, from third-person. Because, you know, like, I'm used to, like, let me switch it over, seeing it from this perspective. Right? And then when you switch it to this perspective, it's like, you get a whole nother, whole nother view. Okay, well, I'm wasting time. What am I doing? So, this kid needs to go collect bridge slats in Savannah, wherever the heck that is. Where, which one's Savannah up here? I think it's the one right in front of me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right here. Um, so, this is going to be a little bit of a backtrack to you guys, uh, just until I get him caught up with Blake. It won't be that long. Trust me, it could probably be maybe two videos, three videos, and then we'll be all caught up. Um, but, yeah, so... Yeah, he's actually farther along in Savannah than I thought. Okay, so it might be easier, and I'm going to get caught. I always get caught here. Holy crap. Um, but I'm going to talk about you guys something in this video once I get out of this battle. Okay, so I collected those uh, little bridge slats there. This might look like deja vu to some of you guys. So we're repairing this bridge. After this, we go to um, that one area where you kind of... Uh, it looks all jungly, and um, I forgot the name of it. That's, that's really annoying that I forgot. Uh, oh no, not fi I have to fight these guys again? Jesus Christ. Why is his health so low? I know you're freaking balanced and stuff, but jeez, come on, dude. Alright, so, uh, we go to that one, how many friends are on right now? So we go to that one, uh, spot where you, like, talk to the princess or whatever her name is. You do your business with her, and, uh, yeah, that's that. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty good... Each community. So we need. We have a lot of work to do on Blaze. I think I've. I. This character was used so long ago that I didn't even have like jewels for him yet. So I don't even know if like I had any jewels on this account or anything like that. So, and the sucky part is right now I'm paying for a membership on like six accounts. It's crazy. Like the only reason I have I like to make characters on separate accounts because I know you can have like six on one account. And usually I'll have like three or four on an account, but I like to have them work together, kind of like how I'm doing right now. You know, like Samantha and Blake, and my sister has a couple accounts, and you know, it's just, I have like three accounts. Um, I actually had four, but I gave one of them away. Um, but yeah. It, so we just, uh, we gotta... Yeah, it's, gonna be, it's always annoying, like, switching back and forth between characters, but I really need to, um speed this up like I don't want to record too much on stuff that I've already done but uh in the end guys I promise it's worth it to have both of these characters work side by side instead of using Samantha you know because that's just overkill so unfortunately I don't even have a uh, colossal for this guy so he's got monstrous which is close but I don't know so I'll see how much his rod does real quick and uh then we can kind of base it off of that playing clash royale in the background here Hurry, three, two. Alright, we good, we good. He's pretty gooch, he's gooch, he's gooch. And that's without jewels or even like modern day armor too. Like he hasn't even done waterworks yet, so it looks like we're gonna be doing waterworks a third time, you guys. And that's for sure, he's 
Okay, really, King Zell did not collect. Are you serious? After all that work, that's what I hate about Wizard One. If I could pick anything in Wizard One that I hate the most, it's that you do this huge long battle and then you don't collect something. Like what a waste! Literally. But that's okay. It's okay. Whatever. Uh, we got some things to talk about now. Finally, ten minutes into the video. <laughs> Holy crap! So, just yesterday, I guess. Uh, It'd be two days ago when this video is up, but just uh, two days ago, uh, Dice revealed their their next game, their next battlefield. And so, although this is a big deal, there's a lot of controversy. There's a lot to talk about, and uh, that's that's for sure. That's for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it, I guess. So we know that. Uh, it was supposed to be like rumored that it was going to be in the past instead of all that futuristic stuff. You know, everybody is so sick of the jetpacks and the running on walls and stuff. More people are just willing to go back to boots on the ground, you know, going hardcore and stuff. And when Call of Duty revealed their next game, Infinite Warfare, it takes place in space and everybody's like, this is BS, we're done. And I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the reveal trailer has like 10 million views, right? And you're probably thinking, wow, that's pretty good. It has over 600,000 dislikes. And only 200,000 likes. It's the most disliked. I think it's like in the top 10 most disliked videos on YouTube, and that's ridiculous. They're, the fan and the, the fans in the community are showing their utmost disrespect and their disapproval of Call of Duty's, um, you know, decision to go into the future again for like the fourth time in a row. It's ridiculous. You know, we're sick of it. We're absolutely sick of it. I know I am. I know a lot of every all of us are. We're so sick of it. And. uh... You know, I don't like to usually, like, be a jerk about something like that, but it's just, you know, I think we're done with that futuristic crap for right now, and, you know, everybody's opinion can change, obviously, but, uh, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know, I just don't, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't like it, I'm sick of it, and so Battlefield made the decision, they actually listened to the community, you know, the first person shooter community, whether it be on console or PC or whatever it is, they listened and they decided to go back, and it was revealed yesterday that it was going to take place in World War One. so let's just talk about the, the little reveal trailer that Battlefield decided to show off, and so... In the in the trailer, they you know showed a couple things. We saw some uh, mustard gas, gas mask uh, things. We saw some uh, you know obviously some old World War One, uh, World War One weaponry. They had the, that's when the first tanks were used in World War One. They have biplanes, and uh, I think the one of the most original flamethrowers was ever created there. And I don't think they really used it as a, a war tactic exactly, like a war weapon. That was more in World War Two, but. Uh, anyways, what I, a lot of people did want World War II game, and that's completely understandable. I wanted a World War II game more than anything. Believe that. You better believe it. Um, the problem was they decided to go through World War One, so I'm not that. I'm not too mad. I'd much rather have that than the futuristic crap that we've been seeing lately. So I am thankful that they went backwards. So I'm definitely not going to be getting Call of Duty this year. Although they are including the COD 4 Remastered Edition, which everybody's excited for, but you have to order pre-order. Um, Infinite Warfare in order to get it, so that's kind of some BS, honestly. I, I don't like that about, uh, you know, Activision pulling that off on us. It's just not cool of them. <laughs> but anyways, we, uh, you know, I'm definitely going Battlefield this year, and, uh, what I really do like about Battlefield, um, the, they call it Battlefield 1, right? And what I do like about it is that... Although this is a World War One setting, it sets them up for maybe next year to have a World War Two game. So a lot of people, I haven't heard a single YouTuber talk about that perspective of it. They've always been like, oh, it's not World War Two. Okay, that's fine. We have a World War One. We'd rather have that than the futuristic crap. Well, heck yeah, we would. But guess what? Maybe next year we'll have World War Two. I don't know. That that's that's my thoughts on it. I think it could be a very likely possibility and I know like most of you guys are like a, more of the younger audience your earlier teens rather than late teens and stuff but uh I I think that you guys would, might maybe you guys like the futuristic stuff I don't really know but I feel like you know in the past it was a lot more cool because it actually happened you know that kind of stuff they could make real events out of it in the future I think the main problem with the Call of Duty futuristic stuff is that they're making stuff up and it's starting to lose its you know, I don't know, but in World, like, World at War, they actually had some realistic events, and that's really what sold it for me. So, are you guys Team Blaze or Team Blake? That's the real question. 
And he does have a pretty cool pet, actually. And it's gonna go into there, and we lost that screen, so. <laughs> um. Yeah, it, it, whatever. You enter the cave Jesus, the pulled me all over the place. Someone is trapped in the and the bad part about controlling two, par two characters all the time is that you can never get them into the battle at the same time. You'd be lucky to pull that off. And his ancient pet doesn't even have a jewel. So, oh gosh, he's so far behind. What is he doing with his life? Seriously, what was I doing with my life? I don't know. I guess I'll try Nova or something like that. Okay, yeah, so he was a little bit further down in Savannah than I thought. We ended up here on the final boss battle-y battle, but... What did I just say? Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying on these videos, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. <laughs> the break is about to be level 66. Um, I don't know, what what is... Are you serious? I have to actually walk up there. I can just teleport to him. That's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, what, what level is Blaze about to be? I don't know. No, he's almost 60, uh, 63 or something. So yeah, uh, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. So something was up with uh, Blake's deck here. Let me, let me see. I don't know. Blizzard was popping up too much for my liking. Uh, that's why it was a boss deck. Okay. So we need to equip the Ice Wyvern. Blah, 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 blah. Or maybe the main deck, right? Yeah, the main deck. Even though this is a boss. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Eh, who cares? We're going in hot. My shadow fire will dispel your petty magic. Okay, none of the attitudes. See, there's always an, a mean lion like arguing with you or whatever. And you're just like, really, bro? Really? Luckily, they're both fire bosses, and yeah. That's some good news. We're gonna go ahead and put a Bill Frost up in here. Freak him out a little bit, making the area nice, cool, and icy. And, uh, oh gosh, we're cheating. Or maybe not. Nah, we're good, we're good. I can't believe this video is almost over already. Jeez, so maybe after this battle, we'll wrap it up and head into the next one or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay, he's about to hit, though, so I might want to shield up for that. And then, uh, yeah, keep it moving, keep it moving. Um. Yeah, we can stack up Blake a little bit here. So he can shield, and then Blaze can blade. Jesus, there's so many names going around, and... So much stuff to do. Well, Samantha, it was easy. You just wait, call Krulu, and hit it, and done. Aw, oh, man. This guy had way more pips, too, so he would have had a more deadly attack on me. My tower shield was wasted. Watch me use their freed or something like that. Oh, God. I thought that was about to be it. All right, all right. Attack the guy with low health. That's fine. 35 damage. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. How does that exist? Oh, that's why. That's why. Alright, let's stack them up. Get some Blade Storm going up in here. Oh, gosh. See, when I'm on two characters, I can't see when people are messaging me on the other character. Oh, man. So, you know... Jesus. So yeah, with the help of uh, you know, like a balance wizard up in here, we can get some pretty decent hits in there. That's for sure. Like, uh, yeah, check it out. So Blake can just drop one. Yeah, he's gonna drop a big dookie, and then he's got his critical up in here, Bale Frost, four blades. Like, it is a good day for Blake. <laughs> Jesus, I don't think I've seen Blake do that much damage, actually. I don't know, and I, I had more blades to go. Dang, 10k on that sucker. Woo! Blake just hit 10,000 damage, almost 11,000 on that last hit. I'm very proud of you, Blake. Um... Yeah, just an amazing time. Ah, you are the fiercest fighter I have ever known. Well, duh. I have never suffered such a beat him up. Alright, let's release this little girl. Hey sweetie, you okay? I can't stop shivering. This adventure turned out to be a bad idea. I'm going home right now. What kind of accent is that? That was a little weird of an accent. Um Okay, so 
Jeez. What quest am I on for Blake now? Okay, so he's still waterfront. Okay, yeah, yeah. So waterfront and then Blaze needs to uh play some drums. Talk to King Manza. Okay, so we're gonna head out of here, talk to Becky Blackhoof and see what's going on. Alright, see you guys in a sec. Yes, guys, I remember to use a teleporter this time. Thank you. You guys know, you guys know I would have started running all the way back without using a teleporter. Okay, so we just talked to those two uh, zebras there. And, uh, yeah, we're out of that place now, so we're heading on to the, uh, the other place I was talking about, the little jungly one where you talk to the princess, where am I going? And, um, yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Zoom into outskirts, that's what it was called. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, so we're catching up to Blake. Yeah, this is the place, the really jungly one. It doesn't look like an African desert, it looks more jungly. Like, if this is how Africa looked, I would kill to live here. This place looks cool. We got orange skies and jungly trees and fresh grass. And, I, like, I could just imagine having a nice fresh barbecue. That reminds me, I want to have a barbecue tonight. That sounds really good. Just some barbecue chicken, barbecue sauce. And, I don't know. It's a really American thing, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys from other countries, um, if you're watching this far, do you guys eat barbecue food or barbecue sauce? I don't know. I thought it was always American, but I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, huh? So, through a f thorough investigation of this wagon, we actually found out that um, they did not cause the accident. Somebody hit them, and a bunch of jackal bandits decided to loot the wagon. They left a bunch of pots of gold behind. Not exactly sure as to why, but we will go ahead and find out in the next episode. Um, you know what's beyond this foresty wall. We all know what's beyond that. Um, so, basically, before we leave, we are going to leave you guys with one basic question. Where are you? In Wizard 101, or in the spiral, where are you guys? And with that, we will see you in the next episode. Um, catching Blaze up to Blake. Um, yeah, so you guys give this video a big thumbs up.